All right, gonna show you how the Easy Believers heretics totally take Acts 1631 out of context to teach their false gospel of no repentance of sins for salvation. They want to just do anything they can to deny repentance, and they won't read the context. They'll take Acts 1631. They'll say, "See, it says, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved." See, all you gotta do is believe. Um, is that what it says in context? No, it's not. Okay, you see, cults. Cult leaders and cults will always base doctrine off one or two verses out of context. The full context of Acts 16.31 begins in verse 25. Okay, let's start from verse 25 and see what was going on and show you that there was actually repentance that was going on with the Philippian jail. It just wasn't mentioned by name, but there was repentance clearly going on. Okay, a form of repentance, I'll put it that way. Acts 16.35, it says, And at midnight Paul and Silas prayed, and saying praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately the doors, all the doors were open, and every one's uh, bands were loosed. And verse 27, And the keeper of the prison, awakening, awakening out of his sleep, and seeing the prison doors were open, drew out his sword, and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. You see, Roman law during this time, if the prisoners escaped, then the jail keeper would get put to death for that, for, for letting the prisoners escape. So he was going to kill himself because he didn't want to be executed by by his you know superior authorities, I guess. You could put it that way. Um, but then look at verse 28. But Paul cried and said with, cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Okay? So what's going on here? The Philippian jailer was going to kill himself. Okay? I'll get, my, I'll get to my point in a minute. And he, he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas, okay, verse 30, and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Verse 31, and they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. Okay, where is the repentance that comes in? Well, what was going on here? Again, like I said earlier, he's going to kill himself. And look, he says he came in verse 29 and came trembling, okay? He was in a repentant state. He was, he was already in repentance of sins, godly sorrow for his sins. He was already in repentance. So there was no need to preach to him repentance because he was already in that repentant state. So that's why they just told him, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Because repentance was already there. See, that's why it's important to look at the context of verses, not just rip scriptures out of context and just base your whole heresies off. You know, I remember this, this Jack Smack heretic, Jack Smack 77, he tried to, you know, come out with a video and saying that, you know, oh, if you can't, if you can't base your gospel off just John 3.16 alone, uh, off one verse, then that means you're, you know, that means you're not preaching the right gospel. Uh, no, that's not how it works, okay? John 3.16, and it's funny because even the heretic like Ed Fenninger can see that there's errors in that and how you don't just base your gospel off one verse. Because, and I don't have time to get into that, I covered that in another video, uh, his false gospel of only... Uh, only basing enough John 3 16 and that's it okay there's details about the gospel all throughout the Bible okay there's not just in John 3 16 there's other details that are, are necessary as well okay, I'm not going to get too much into that but it just shows how you just don't base your gospel off one verse okay Acts 16 31 the context again begins at verse 25 and the Philippian jailer was in a repentant state he was going to kill himself and he came trembling so they just told him believe in the Lord Jesus Christ because they could see he was already repentant so I want to show you guys that, just how these anti-repentance heretics will do anything they can to deny biblical repentance and repentance of sins for salvation. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.